Jack, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing, to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. perfect combination of boxing ability and technique. Few guys have been able to hold up when it comes to this guy's boxing acumen, and he'll be trying to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And what really has helped him is his ability to defend takedowns. It discourages his opponents from shooting on him. Right. So then they are forced to stand in the boxing range. No one manages distance better. No one understands getting in range and in out of range better than this guy. And the moment you're stuck there, you are a lame duck. He is going to find you. He's a sniper. The jab always the chin. The right hand follows. And if you are able to withstand that, you got to watch for everything coming after it. And I love watching him land that beautiful left body shot as he ends a lot of his combinations. Yeah, and we talk so much about his offense, but his defense as a boxer, right? The head's never oh, on the center John, line. It's almost like his head's detached from his body. Truly the sight to behold. We'll see if he can put forth another shot. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. All right, round one is underway. Here is the outstanding striker, the conditioned Du Ho Choi. The majority of his pro wins have come up by knockout. They have come in round one. We'll see how it goes for Du Ho Choi here tonight. That left hook was crazy. Straight right is there. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Just misses there with the left. Fighting behind a nice jab. Oh, big right hand, yes. Beautiful head kick lands from this guy. Trying to establish the jab early on here. Back and forth we go. Big overhand right. Those are big strikes. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? Sidekick is there. The Korean Superboy gets caught by another sidekick there. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Big shot to the head. If this guy doesn't move his head, his night is about to end. Nice punch lands over the top. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Very fast leg kick lands for him. Good right hand from the top. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Choi. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Nice shot over the top there. Continuing to go to the head. Oh, there's that patented leg kick. 
Just over two minutes to go in round one. Oh, collar tie. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Really good job by the fighter to land that kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Nice jab by Choi. You're behind. Take down. Oh, left hook. Misses with the left hook. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. One minute. Two push combo. Work, Let's guys. Go. Come on. Give me a three push. Finish with a hook. Nice uppercut. Finish with a hook. We're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. Well, he's taking too many of these shots up top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting. He's being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. All right, let's go. Let's go. Work. 30 seconds left. Swing and a big miss by the Korean Super Bowl. 20 seconds left. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Choi. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Again, back into this position. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Stop! All right, take a seat. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have ever seen. He did it with footwork. This man tonight has done it with his blocking skills, with his vision and his ability to just not be where his opponent thinks he's going to be. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Oh, lands a huge behind me. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. And he lands that side kick. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Nice straight right lands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And lands the left there. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Beautiful head kick lands from this guy. Three minutes now to go in the round. Well, you know, the 
playbook on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feed, and there is that inside leg kick. Just a quick switch of the hips, and boom, inside leg kick lane. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from doing this kick over and over again. Lindsay, quick jab. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Back and forth we go. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Under two minutes to go in the round. Nice. Go, 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 go. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Lands a nice jab there. Better defense, better defense. Get that right hand Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Oh, he's unable to find the target with that uppercut. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. Block that punch. Under a minute to go. Attack that punch, Corey. Let's go. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Choi. Outstanding need the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Well, now the hook is pitched by the Korean Super Bowl. Final seconds here of round two. Two. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fight. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what that effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching forward, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You got to start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and... Neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. 
Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. And the kick lands. That's good defense to block that punch. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. The Korean Superboy getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. Straight punch. Useful. You know, I gotta tell you, I'm not sure that his face could be much more swollen at this point in time. Gotta raise that guard. You gotta get the high guard. I mean, at this point, John, you gotta forget everything else and get the guard up high, keep the elbows in tight, and try to make sure that nothing lands clean on your face because every time, you're gonna just get more and more swollen. Under two minutes to go. Just misses with the straight right. Nice leg kick. Oh, and he lands the leg kick. The stats are in his favor when it comes to that strike. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Now touches him with the left. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Let's go. Keep pushing forward. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. He's cut. 30 seconds in the round. Nice block. Twenty seconds to go. 15 seconds. That's the floor of the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make the sneaker go and know it's right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, That's three oh. rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, well, the swelling above his eye is getting worse by the moment. The ringside position monitoring things closely, and they're going to call on the cut man right now to see if he can apply the end swell and keep this fighter in the fight. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. Fourth round, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Well, missed on that one. Useful. Lead right hand, that'll work. 
So the swelling at this point appears to be critical. UFC President Dana White to our left looks concerned. What's the referee waiting for? I mean, the time is now to pull the plug on this fight. I don't think anyone would have a problem with saying tonight's just not his night. Sure, he's tough. We don't want to see a guy's toughness on display to this level to try to stay in the fight. Good kid. He did a great job of blocking that punch. Heavy kick downstairs. Back and forth we go. It takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals tangoed tonight. I might run it back at some point, no matter how this one ends. It's one of those fights where when you look at these two and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt. They're both beat up. And both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight. Just over three minutes to go. He escapes up to his feet. Very nice. I want that takedown now. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> well, it seems like there has been an opening for that overhand all night long. Let's see if he goes back. Oh, Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. All right, now touches him with that left hand. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Way to hide that leg kick. No wasted motions on those kicks. There's no tail. Strong knee strike there. Oh, that cut on his nose is only getting worse. Not good. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here. Just out of range. Great job blocking that shot. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Try to establish that jab. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's octagon. Nice kick, yep. Choi's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, well, that cut is only getting worse, champ. I'm not sure if it's time to call in the ringside position, but we got a bloody mess on our hands now. Yeah, bloody mess. This guy's almost unrecognizable. Uh, you look at you look at this guy, and you look at his toughness. And his toughness may be a problem right now because his opponent will not let up on him. He's going to continue to beat him up. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. Great fight. 
Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. Look at the turtle in that kick. Nice kick to the body. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh! Oh, he's got a good left hand. Lands to the body there. Nice jab by Choi. Beautiful punch to the body. Oh, roundhouse kick. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Great job blocking that punch. Nice knee, yep. Yeah. Choice, all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Oh, beautiful jab placement there by the longer fight. Oh, how clean is that jab by Choi? Lands a nice straight. Oh, he blocks a shot there. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy anymore. Block that punch. Let's go. It needs to be first now. Trying to go for the single leg takedown. Doesn't get it. Now they separate. Oh, man. That cut is just bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised to see a stoppage here. So the amount of blood, the amount of blood that is leaking from this guy. It's amazing that he's still standing. He has been beat up thoroughly. Tonight is not going to be his night. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, inside kick. Get out of there. And now leather being thrown on both sides. Let's work, guys. Go after that cut. Go after that cut. Strike. While this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie, I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career going down the line. And that one certainly found the target. Clean hook there. Now to go in the fight. Oh, straight punch. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Oh, hook to the head by the Korean Super Bowl. Waning seconds of this fight. 
So the fighter limping now as a result of all those leg kicks. We'll see if he can make some adjustments. He's got to make some adjustments. And checking the kick. What a fight! 25 minutes turned in. Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest, 50-45. Declaring the winner, by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl!